Today, we are going to talk about how the T-40 creates a map and flies autonomously. First, select the area that needs an aerial survey, call the aerial survey task, and the aircraft will take off automatically to start the aerial survey. During the aerial survey, using T-40 high-definition image transmission technology, the photos taken by the drone will be stitched into a high-definition map in real time. On the high-definition map, we can directly see the boundaries of farmland, shrubs, trees, telephone poles, and other obstacles. And then we can plan the boundaries of the plots that need to be operated on the map, using polygons or circles to circle obstacles, you can directly call the map out. Then set the parameters on the menu on the left, then slide the slider, the T-40 will operate fully autonomously after takeoff. After takeoff, T-40 will perform RTK operation autonomously according to the route. The flight speed we set this time is 5 meters per second, the route spacing is 11 meters, and the flight altitude is 3 meters per second. This flight completed 4 acres in 8 minutes. If you set the drone speed to 8 meters per second, the route spacing is 11 meters. The flight altitude is 3.5 meters, and you use 5 liters per acre, so your 40 liters tank can be sprayed in 6.3 minutes. Plus your refilling time, and the time to load a new battery, there is no problem in completing 50 acres in 1 hour. If your usage of each acre is relatively large, the terrain is complex, there are many obstacles, and the land is undulating, it will not reach 50 acres per hour. And the efficiency will be slightly lower. So, you can work while accumulating your own working experience in each field for future use. A lot of data needs to be summarized in your actual work according to your own situation. Thanks for watching.